In this tutorial, I'll show you how to calculate conditional probability. The question reads, the Venn diagram shows that in a building with 123 offices, 72 offices have computers in them, 45 offices have a windows to the outside of the building, 23 offices have computers and windows. If one office is chosen at random, determine each of the following probabilities written as a fraction in lowest terms. The first one being the probability of selecting an office that has a computer given that you selected one that has a window. Before we answer this, let's have a quick discussion on conditional probability. Conditional probability of an event B in a relation to an event A is the probability that event B will occur given that A has already occurred. The notation used for conditional probability as you just saw is read the probability of B given A. The method to finding the conditional probability requires using a formula which is shown underneath, where to find the probability of B given that you chose A already is found by taking the probability of the intersection of A and B divided by the probability of A. In our case, they're asking for the probability of C given that we chose W. The number of offices that have windows as spoke of in the question is 45. So we would have a denominator of 45, the probability of selecting an office with windows. The intersection of A and B, remember this formula right here, is like saying how many offices have windows and computers? And that was given in the question. We're told that there are 23 offices that have computers and windows. So at the very top here, if we want the intersection of W and C, that's the symbol for intersection, that upside down U, it's given as 23. Therefore, the probability of choosing C, given that you already chose an office with windows, is 23 over 45. You take that decimal and you multiply it by 100 to get the percentage. 23 over 45 times 100 is approximately 51.1%. Moving on to B, the probability of selecting an office with a window given that you selected one with a computer. There are 72 offices that have a computer in them. So we have the probability of W given C is the probability of C, which is 72. And at the top, we have the probability of C intersecting with W. Just as before, we have the same expression. We'll write down 23 at the top. And we take 23 divided by 72. And we multiply that by 100% to get 31.9%. 31.9% is the probability of selecting a room with windows given that you selected one with a computer. Let's continue with another example. Determine the following probabilities correct to two decimal places as needed. So we have to find the probability of B given A using the same formula as before. Probability of B given A is equal to the probability of A is 0 0.6. At the top we have the probability of A intersecting with B. The relationship between union and intersection is the following. The intersection of A and B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the union of A and B. So the probability of A was 0 0.6 plus 0 0.7 minus 0 0.9 those two become 1.3 minus 0 0.9 is 0 0.4. 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.6 is 2 over 3. 0 decimal 6 repeating. Now the probability of A given B. The probability of A given B. The probability of selecting B is 0 0.7. And now we use the probability of B intersecting with A. B intersecting with A is the same thing as A intersecting with B. 
and we found that it was 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.7. That gives us 0 0.57. That's the two decimal places, and that's the answer.